everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we've got something a little different on the table. We have some Mira uh, gas masks. I actually have two of them on the table. Um, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of each one. If you're interested in the gas mask, uh, these might be for you. So let's get started. All right, folks, let me unbox. Uh, this one is the CM7M. This is more of a tactical uh, gas mask. Now, in the box, it's going to come with some stickers and stuff. It's going to come with a water bottle, which we'll go over in a little bit more detail. It comes with a your warranty card. It's saying that a uh, five-year uh, warranty on these, uh, 30 days after purchase, and your user manual. Okay, so let me open this up and show you what you get. Now, as I said, this is the tactical version. Uh, and it's kind of more of the commonly probably viewed uh, kind of uh, imagined gas mask with the two eyes right here. So uh, these gas masks are actually uh, used in the military in the Czech Republic. These are legit gas masks. These are not pretend. Uh, these are the real deal. So what makes this the tactical version? Well, one of the things you'll notice between this and the other one I'm going to review in just a second is obviously that this has the kind of the eyes um, and the sides are kind of shunk in so you can get a cheek weld on your gun. So I'll demonstrate that with a video. I'll roll that in for you. Um, now, on either side, depending on if you're left or right-handed, it's depend uh, if you're using a firearm, uh, depends on which side you're going to put your uh your filter in. Now this, they also sell these filters. This is the be all and end all filter. This costs about 80 bucks. This filters, uh, I mean, everything from radioactive, you know, stuff to, you know, whatever. This does it all. This is what this is. As I say, they cost about 80 bucks. Now they come sealed in a package like this. When they're sealed and unopened, they will last for approximately 20 years. So I have a 20 year, 20 year shelf life, which is great. But once you open them, uh, your, your clock's basically ticking. Um, and after, you know, if you're going to be using this, you're going to be looking, depending on, again, the situation you're in, how hard you're working, depends what you're breathing in. You going to be looking around about eight plus just over eight hours maybe eight to twelve hours it just really depends now because there is so much filter material through this also it isn't the easiest to breathe through as you would imagine because it is filtering before it hits you through your mask now, uh, the reason I was saying if you want it on the right or left, depending on your, uh, depends if you're left or right hand is obviously I'm right handed. I present my rifle up on my right shoulder. I don't want to interfere with my rifle. So this goes on the left side, if I can get it screwed in, like so. Um, you can, there's a little valve like piece right here. You would just unscrew it if you want it to go on this side. You would place this then on that side and switch your filter over. So it depends if you're left or right handed, depends on the side of the filter you're going to put, put this in. So again, uh, right handed shooter, I'm putting it on my left so I can uh, shoulder that, that gun. Now, it still does cause, uh, even though this is more designed for tactical, so you can put your um, your eye down, excuse me, put your cheek on the cheek weld of your rifle, it's still not super easy to uh, to kind of get that right cheek weld to see through your gun, but it is easier than the other one. Again, I'll show you that in a second. Um, one of the other downsides of this particular one is its field of view. It does uh, affect, because of this design, it does uh, affect your field of view just a little bit, um, so it's not as easy to see. Um, now also you're going to notice here, uh, this hose right here, let me take this out off here, uh, this part here is to go into your water bottle, there is a piece right here, which would then plug into the top of your water bottle, you would then turn your water bottle upside down to get the water out of your bottle, and then once you're done you could just wrap this back up, and there's a little piece that it just clips in right there and it sits nicely. Now, once you plug that in, you'll also notice there's a piece right here and you turn this piece and on the inside, there is a valve uh, for your water. And obviously you, you have your on and off, so you just switch it and it moves it. And again, I'll, put, I'll roll the film in so you can see this. It moves the valve down so you can take a drink uh, when you need it and then you can move it back once you're done. So very cool. Uh, it does have this webbing system on the back here. Obviously, once you put this on, you're going to want to pull these tabs. There's about f uh, one, two, three, there's five of them. You're going to want to make sure this is really snug on your face. Obviously, you don't want anything getting in. If you have a beard, it's not the best because it does break that seal a little bit. Um, so it's not as effective. So if you're expecting trouble, if you're expecting for a tactical situation or whatever, you want to shave that beard to get a really good seal if you intend on using these masks just to make it a, a little better on yourself. So that is this. Okay, so the other thing is you're going to want to know is will it work with like, so, you know, if you're wearing a bump helmet, 
Now, if you want a review on this, check out my other videos. I do have a review on this. Um, but it does work with your bump helmet, and I'll show that to you. And as you can see, I can still talk because it does um, have a, a kind of a, a part where I can project out of here. So you can still hear me. Obviously, it's a little different. You can hear me breathing in through the filter. And then what happens is this part is where the... Uh, your ex when you exhale this is there's a little kind of uh, plug down here so when you, when you breathe out it pushes that down and then when you breathe back in it sucks it back up so nothing can get in so so you can actually feel it here with nothing if you don't have anything here you can actually feel that air pushing down onto your neck so does it fit with a bump helmet and the answer of course is yes it's going to be a little hard for me to see this. I usually do this in the mirror so I can make sure everything's seated properly. But as you can see, it does fit just fine with a bump helmet on there. Again, as you would expect since this is a military type gas mask. So there you go. All right, I'm not going to wear this the entire time or it'll be a little weird. So let me take this off. Now since I have this off, let me demonstrate what I was referring to with the cheek weld. Okay, so let me demonstrate. Uh, this is um, an SBR. This is an um, AR-15 SBR. The upper, because you're going to ask, I know. The upper is a uh, Knight's Armament SR-15. And the lower is an Aero Precision M4E1. I'm waiting for my lower to be approved by the ATF. Suck it, the ATF. On top we have an EOTech and we have a D-Ball and we have a Surefire uh, Dual Fuel, no actually we have a, a Surefire Vampire because this is set up as my net vision. Okay, so what I'm saying is you can still get behind, um, you can still get behind the optic but I do feel like when I when I was shooting and practicing I did have, to, I can get a view straight but I tended to turn the optic just a little bit to get a better sight picture. So it is definitely usable. So yeah, you can still get your sight picture. Um, as I say, now I used, I would suggest something with um, a larger window. Let me take this mask off. I would suggest an optic that has a larger window. If you've got like a micro with that smaller, it's just going to make it just a little bit harder for you to view through there. Obviously, the EOTech has that nice large window, which makes life a little easier. Okay, so let's put that down. Uh, and let's go ahead and open up the, this is the CM6M. And this is it here. So it comes with the same uh, material inside. Uh, the only thing different is the actual mask. So let me hold this up. So obviously you can see this one is a full uh, all the way across. So the pros with this one is better visibility for sure. There's no really kind of, um, you know, with this one you have those kind of not blind spots, but you have this parts where it makes, makes the visibility just a little worse. Uh, this one obviously better visibility. One of the big cons is when, you know, getting that cheek weld on your rifle, it's still doable. It's not as easy, obviously, as the tactical one. However, if you're bringing, say, a pistol up, um, this would be perfect. So if you're bringing a pistol up to present, you're going to see that just fine. Also, that would obviously work with the other one. So um, this is this is not, the other one's more tactical. This one will still work, but I would say this one is, yeah, if you're just using a pistol, if you're just getting out of Dodge and you need full visibility, this is the way to go. If you're going to be using a rifle and you need to be able to get that cheek weld, you're going to want to go with the other one. A um, couple of small differences, obviously. Uh, you can see here, uh, like the, the water bottle uh, cord is up on the top here instead of wrapped around the front. It still has either side for your filters. And again, you can just switch them out either side. Now, um, yes, you can run two filters on either side. Apparently, mirror safety does not recommend it um, because, well, one is if you have, um, again, just with the problems I was talking about, if you're shouldering a gun, um, that's going to cause you a problem with that gas, uh, with the filter sitting out here. And it is pretty hard to, to, to pull air through these filters. So um, if you're pulling through both to try and breathe, um, you're probably just better off going with the one. So this is the other version. As I said, it has the same kind of webbing on the back um, and everything else is very, very similar. Um, you, you can project and talk through here and then obviously you're, you're going to breathe out. Um, so breathe in through your filter and then your air is going to come out the bottom here uh, from this part. Again, comes with your bottle, like I said, and everything else. So very cool. Um, so yeah, again, 
not my usual kind of video, uh, but if you're interested in gas masks um, and you're looking for one because we're in just crazy uncertain times, now here's a little crazy fact. Um, last year when COVID hit, you could not buy these for crap. Um, they, they were sold out. I mean, they just couldn't buy them. People were going crazy and buying them. And um, does it filter viruses? Yes, actually they do. However, you know, um, depending, again, it depends what your use is for. I think most preppers are probably going to be interested in something like this. Is it for everybody? Nope, uh, absolutely not. However, uh, if you want that little bit of extra um, protection or peace of mind, obviously um, you can buy these gas masks. So Mirror Safety has been a great company to deal with. I've been dealing with them for a few months um, and they've been great. Uh, the pricing on these, uh, these are going to cost you around 250 bucks for this one. Maybe I think maybe a little bit more. This is excluding filter. And this one's about 240. This one's more expensive and this one's 240. I can't remember exactly how much this one is. Um, and the filters, if you want the bee's knees, uh, these are going to cost you about 80 bucks. They have different type filters depending on the situation that you find yourself needing. So they have cheaper filters if you need them, uh, depending on your needs. So yeah, um, link is in the description if you're interested. If you have any questions, any comments, please ask me. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. Uh, and that's pretty much it, folks. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you later.